Hi, welcome to For Real Talkers. I'm Bobby. And I'm Jen. And today we are going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes. Did you have a good <laughs> Valentine's Day? Do you believe in Valentine's Day? Like, what is it all about? What is it all what about? What is the hype? What is it all about, y'all? Uh, Jen, share some of your thoughts about it. So, I'm going to let you know Valentine's Day is overrated and underrated. <laughs> it depends on who you talk to. But I know somebody's <laughs> making money off of it, not me. Okay. However, <laughs> since the land before time and beyond, when they celebrated Valentine's Day, they put a lot of pressure yes. on parties, oh, okay. people, okay. to sh to show love mm -hmm. on this particular day, even though you're supposed to show love every day. Absolutely, every day. However, mm -hmm. on this particular day, I don't even know who the heck, I'm gonna do my research after this. Right now, I'm winging it. This Valentine, St. Valentine, made you um, recognize the person in your life, you have to show love for them on that particular day. Fine, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, first, you didn't, you don't feed into it like whatever, because we could do this every day, right? We should. We, we should. should. We should. Mm -hmm. But then it gets to the point you like. So, and I'm talking about me, and I'm going to talk about my friends, coworkers. Yesterday, we were um, walking through the street, and we see one guy pass by with a bouquet of flowers. Okay. Another guy passed by with an even bigger bouquet of flowers. Ooh, ooh. Another guy passed by and he holding his girl hand and he got the flowers. He holds her hand. So like, oh, this is so sweet. Okay. And then I'm looking like, I'm ch checking my phone. <laughs> I, hmm, I'm checking my phone. Maybe I missed a call or something. <laughs> I didn't miss no call. I didn't miss the call. I didn't get the call. Mm -hmm. So I had to initiate the call. That really, oh, that bothered me. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. now mind but, you, I don't need flowers to measure, like, you know, or some type of- The love in the relationship, yeah. you don't need the flowers. But okay. I could have I could have used like, you know, that whole affirmation, like I want to spend time with you, you know, Valentine's Day is every day, but mm -hmm. today I'm going to show you in another way, extra special how much you mean to me. Aww. And mind you, let me tell you something. Don't get it twisted because I reciprocate this no matter what, if I get it or not. I always recognize Valentine's Day. My dad does it, my mom. Um, so I already know this is how it's supposed to be done. So don't, and he still does it to this day, okay? And love you just because. Just because. <laughs> <laughs> so... I was a, I was a little perturbed mm -hmm. that I didn't get that that whole pomp and circumstance of like you know the whole like okay we're gonna go out we're gonna do this whatever okay. it was no thought put into it so mm -hmm. I was I was a little like all right it fell flat for me I know when it comes to holidays no matter even if it's Valentine's Day or not if it's your birthday okay. if it's Father's Day hell if it's um Chris oh Christmas Bobby forgive me Christmas and beyond I'm celebrating those holidays I'm big on holidays so I'm gonna mm -hmm. you're not my father but I'm still gonna get you a Father's Day gift or show you in some form or fashion that I appreciate you okay Christmas time of course mm -hmm. that's given Valentine's Day of course that's given mm -hmm. but when it doesn't happen then I have a problem with it what about you Bobby and what about you people <laughs> do you have a problem with it because I did. I felt some way. Okay. I had to, mm -hmm. I had to rein it in. Like, you know what? It is what it is. Everybody's not going to think like you. Yeah. What about you? So, you know, for me, I think that when you first get into a relationship, you probably should have a discussion with, with that person mm -hmm. as far as what holidays you celebrate. What don't you celebrate? Is yep. it a big deal? Is it not a big right. deal? Because right. sometimes if a person don't really know mm -hmm. that a holiday like Valentine's Day means something to you, they can overlook it because it's not a big deal for everyone. Right. So we got to know what's important to the person that we're, right. we're dating and partnering with mm -hmm. in order to satisfy somebody. Because if you just don't know, how do you meet yeah, somebody's yeah. expectation and needs if you don't know? So, Bobby, you're saying that this is a conversation we should have at the beginning of the relationship? Yes. Like, like almost point, one of those questions, do you want to have kids or not? 
<laughs> yes, yes. I think you should ask the person. First of all, like for me, I want to know, do you believe in God? That's important to me, First. right? Because if you tell me you don't, then we're probably not going to mesh well together. Sorry. Um, do you want to have more children? Right. I'm not about to push nothing else out. I don't know if I can <laughs> anymore. <laughs> celebrate birthdays and holidays yeah. like really yeah. because um for me some of the holidays are not as big of a deal mm -hmm. to me anymore mm -hmm. it really isn't mm -hmm. but valentine's day for some reason it doesn't have to be a big deal to me mm -hmm. if we talk about it in advance and we agree that it's not mm -hmm. however as long as you're going to show me that i'm special yeah. that you love me and you're yeah. going to do special things throughout the year yeah. you know you're yeah. going to send me flowers just because you're going to tell me how much you care or how much you love me just because you're going to give me a gift here and there right. just because then valentine's day it really it yeah. to me it's, it's yeah. very commercial yeah. but i think a good discussion in advance mm -hmm. could probably help alleviate some of the hurt feelings yeah. i think that's a good idea bobby right? i really do think that's a good idea yes I mm -hmm. do believe that. And I'm telling you, it's not about the material things because I'm tough. Those flowers will die like yes. eventually, but it's the acknowledgement. Yes. And I'm big on time, like things that you, you can't buy, like Ooh, spending yes. time is invaluable. Like I can't put a price on that. So if you tell me like, you know, we're going to spend some time. Mm -hmm. I don't even care if we spend time together watching CSI. Sitting in the from, house. In the house, just chilling. Mm -hmm. That's time. Like, what, so, if, what about something? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's off. okay. Because what about something simple like, you know what, baby? I You cook the field. Listen, dude, guys, mm -hmm. you don't know how to cook. Yeah. You could pick up takeout and bring it home. Yeah. Give her a nice massage. You know, just be a little catering. But guess what? It is for the ladies. But mm -hmm. what if your guy is into Valentine's mm -hmm. Day and he feels like he needs to yeah. be recognized? Yeah. Like, should we recognize the Absolutely. guys too? Absolutely. Yes? Absolutely. Yes? Guys, don't say that you're not into Valentine's Day because I've seen a a lot of y'all out there yesterday mm -hmm. and I'm if my father's into it I'm into it right okay period so I am saying to you you know just make an effort to mm -hmm. take interest in what your partner is, is interested in you might not be like this is BS yeah okay you know mm -hmm. um, but find out find out find out find out but do some you know like I said Bobby said the mm -hmm. small things yes let's I'm a cook for you or whatever yeah a massage like just something at home that that's out of the ordinary that you don't normally do. Mm -hmm. If I come in the house and I see candles and I see some massage oil, or if I see like you cooking mm -hmm. with an apron on. Yes, yes, oh, honey, yes. Or you fix something <laughs> that I needed to be fixed without asking me, it's on and popping. <laughs> and, and most of the times we don't want you to ask us, baby, it's Valentine's Day. What do you want? Or don't ask birthday. me what I want. What do you want for your Please? birthday? Like, what? try to figure ask it out. Me what I, want. I don't ask you what you want. I figure it out. I'm going to tell you something you can't afford it if you ask me. What do you want? I want a new Porsche. <laughs> exactly. So what is the point? Exactly. But no, on a serious note, I mean, it's good that you want to know, yeah. but it's so much. Yeah. Um, Be creative. It, it means so much more if you are creative, yep. if you've done the work, Prior yeah. to the birthday, prior to the holiday, or prior to Valentine's yeah, Day come yeah, up, you've yeah. already done the work because you've had conversation, you paid attention, yeah. and you got to know what's important to her yeah. or him and what they yeah. like and like and don't like yep. and want. And then yep. you just come come with it. And sometimes yep. money is an issue. It ain't about the money, it's like not. Jen said, the time. Yep. You know, for me, I'm I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Two dozen of roses could be wonderful. Yeah. But if your pockets can't handle that. Or maybe it's just could be, I don't know. To me, I'm being very serious. Yep. I believe sometimes less can be more. Exactly. If you took the time to get a blank card and you write down your thoughts of mm -hmm. how you feel about me yeah. and us and yep. what I mean to you, yep. and you were real, yep. that would touch my heart so much more yep. than those flowers Let would. me tell you something. It's not about money. It's not. I had mm -hmm. a, a friend in wherever you are, God bless you, a long time ago. He would write me poems. Uh -oh. When I was younger and I couldn't appreciate it like mm -hmm. I appreciate it now, Yeah. but mm -hmm. he would call me That's Sunshine. Sweet. And I remember- Wait I a minute, I've been called Sunshine. You got the same <laughs> <But> guy? <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. He wrote me a poem um, called mm -hmm. Sunshine. And, and I remember that poem to this day. I don't remember all the words, but 
I have a copy of folded up somewhere, tucked away at my mama's house, by the way. Aww. But he wrote it out to me, and I love that poem. But I was, at that time, I was like, <laughs> whatever. But right now, I'm thinking about it. You, you triggered something like it was just the the, the effort that he put into yes, to, yes. to writing the poem for me. I got a poem. And hmm. I love that, yes. you know? And then you also have the, the things that are inexpensive, like they got perfume making classes, they got um, blanket making classes that you can do mm -hmm. with your partner. They have, um, what, the sipping paint that they've been doing, all these small things. And I'm telling you, my coworker, we was just talking about it yesterday. She said, I don't even care if we take a walk around the park. And she took the words right out of my mouth. Okay. I like walking around the park, okay. seeing a view. I'm, I'm big on aesthetics, like the small things. Let's take mm -hmm. a walk. I don't even care if it's freezing outside. Let's let's go walk around the park. Warm me up, baby. Like Jill Snuggle Scott. With me. Let's take a long walk <laughs> around the park after dark. Find a spot for us to spark conversation. Elation. Girl, you know all these songs. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know the rest. But anyway, just be a little bit more creative with it. And the small things mean so much. It do. And when you mentioned a poem, I, the first thing came to my mind, I started thinking about a poem I wrote many, many years ago. What was that I'm, poem? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. see if I can remember it. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, y'all. Let me tell y'all about a queen, honey. Do you know who we are? Ooh. We are full-figured, short, tall, some thin and lean. No one can mold the shapes of our beautiful bodies. Okay. Hug noses, luscious lips, voluptuous breasts and hips that spread so wide we can't hide and your eyes can't resist. Mm -hmm. Remember, bearing your children can <laughs> cause all of this. Ooh. Yes, honey. And our big round rumps. I would stand up, but. <laughs> that your eyes love to see well there's still more to learn about me because we are more than that so when you see us walking down the street mm -hmm. looking all oh, so 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 sweet whistling and cat calling will not suffice honey mm. common courtesy and a good education is my advice i still say we are more than that mm. um i could say a lot more because basically we are all flavors from Caramel to deep chocolate. Mm. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I love and I'm going to come back with some more because I probably got to go to my poetry book and pull it up. I love so that. I can, so I can get the rest of this poem. I love that. Yes, but poetry is, is, is a great way to touch somebody's heart and Listen. to really share if you're too shy to tell them your Absolutely. own words. You could put it on paper in a poetry form. I'm good. Right? Now we got into a whole nother form because I'm going to tell you about some poetry yeah. that I read today that had me in my feelings but we're gonna come back to the that. black queen yes honey <laughs> all right y'all see y'all in a minute okay <laughs> hi so i want to share some things that i have done in the past um the one thing that comes to mind right now is you know i just dressed up in something really really sexy Ooh, a sexy lingerie you know? outfit yes i mm -hmm. did honey and before he um, left me the day before I mm. slipped him a little note and put it in his pocket mm -hmm. and it just basically said showtime 8 p.m. tomorrow Ooh. night my place don't be late Baby, right so when he showed up mm -hmm. I was dressed in my sexy little lingerie really? mm -hmm. yes outfit and I had prepared a very nice meal basically uh -huh. all of his favorites mm -hmm. Um, we had our drinks, our wine and everything. And after we ate dinner, mm -hmm. I can't tell you to, to, to like help bathe him, but anyway, let me just say, so <laughs> <laughs> I actually gave him a nice massage, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So I gave him a, a full body massage and I really pampered him focusing on the points and the places that he really right. enjoyed. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And we just had a nice evening at home. You know, we danced. Yeah. Um, it was very romantic, it was very cozy, mm -hmm. and the rest is private. Okay. But yeah, like that. That, that's what I did. And <laughs> I think that um, that meant more to him than mm -hmm. any Christmas present that right, I've ever given right, to him. Right, right, right. So that's what I'm saying, like, um, for me, sometimes I try to think about, like, what is it that I would like 
mm-hmm. right? And I try to find out in advance, you know, if my guy would like it when I'm sharing things that I like. Mm-hmm. Like, what you think about that? You know, you ever are you into something like that? Mm-hmm. But if he's very nonchalant, sometimes guys might not tell you. Then I'll think that, well, you know what? I would love it if my man gave me a personal massage himself and he cooked dinner. Then I think, well, since I think I like it, well, maybe he would like it. Right. And that's something that I might do. But what about you, Jim? What are some of the things that you did? Well, <laughs> I can tell you that um, I've, I've tried everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me go back. I didn't try everything, but uh, it depends on the person. I've done things like, okay, like, okay, we're going to take a helicopter ride because in the city you can do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, pay for a helicopter ride that we never went on, so that was a waste of money. Okay. Um, but it's okay. Um, oh, we're going to go on a boat ride just, just to go see the Statue of Liberty because when you're a New Yorker, you, you don't take advantage of those things because you see them every day. Mm-hmm. But we try to do everything that the common New Yorker um, would really just not pay attention to. Okay. Okay. Um, even from that to like, okay, um, you come home and it's candlelights everywhere and I'm giving you yes. a bath like you are a six month old. See, thank you. you that's what I'm so talking about. Yes. I, I had candles in the bathroom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I bathed this human being. Yes. And um, yes. <laughs> after I bathed this human being, I dried this human being off and he... I laid him on the couch. Oh my God, this is getting a little bit too much. Too yeah. intimate right now. Uh-oh. But anyway, um, you, you... massage, like <laughs> hot massage, whatever, from head to toe. Okay. So I recognize, I try to I try to see what, you know, it is with the individual, what they like, what their mm-hmm. interests are. And I pay attention to when they say, you know, oh, I want to do such as I always wanted to. And, and I'll try yes, within yes. reason. If it's within my financial means, I'll do it. If it's something that's, some, and they don't mention anything, then I'm just going to just get creative. Yes. You know? Yes. But the point is. You to, gave it some thought. I gave it some thought. And I made an effort mm-hmm. to um, recognize it because I want to show you, just like any every other day, that, you know, I appreciate you. Yes. And you are, you know, you're the person I chose. You chose. Mm-hmm. You are my Valentine. Well, you know what I was wondering. So, what if you just, you know, you're dating, and maybe you're dating this person or that person, or you're dating someone, but you have not yet defined your relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Um, would you still expect a Valentine's gift? Do you think, like, like well, well, let me explain. At what point should know. you really expect that this guy, or if you like girls, is to be giving you a Valentine's Once Day gift. I, I believe, and this is me, and this is my only my opinion. Um, once you start becoming intimate with a person, okay, yes, and by intimate, the, intimate can even mean a lot of things. Yeah, e- even if it's just sharing, like those those intimate moments over the phone. It does. I'm okay. not talking about intimate, like physical. Okay. You know, um, because intimate is, is, is verbal. Intimate is a conversation mm-hmm. that you might not have with the, the average person. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, intimate is just a touch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, I also, <laughs> yeah, but I, I also think that it has a lot to do with your intentions too. So yeah. if you haven't defined a relationship already, yeah. it could just really be based on your intentions. You know how you feel about that person. Right. You know if you want more, if you want to get to that stage of intimacy and you yeah. want to have a romantic relationship with that yeah. person. So you know that. And why not act accordingly to how you're feeling? Because that could be a great way to really let her know in case she may not know for sure because yeah. nothing had been defined yet. Yeah. I mean, right? and, and then again, like some people put more weight on things like that than others. Yeah, I agree. That's so why I was it saying. Is, yeah, it is what it is. Like, yeah, that's why know. we were saying we got to talk about it in the beginning yeah. when you first start dating to see if it even, about. if it matters, right? Yeah, yeah, it is important to talk mm-hmm. about it. Bobby, you are absolutely correct on that. We, um, we, a, we see an eye to eye on a lot of things. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conversation that needs to be had, mm-hmm. even though I, I I think it's an unspoken word, but I, I agree with you now. Like, okay. I, I, I think that it's something that you should talk about in the beginning. Yeah, because we'll be all in our feelings if a certain thing don't happen. Is it a deal breaker? I'm going to say <laughs> Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. 
know my birthday is okay christmas is but just make sure <laughs> that your partner or the person you're dating they are aware of that because exactly. if they don't know exactly you know exactly. but i will say this that i once dated a guy for like three years mm -hmm. and yeah, about three years and this is years ago uh -huh. and he told me when we first met that he don't celebrate holidays oh, okay. or birthdays okay. and I thought he was you know for religious reasons but no it had nothing to do with that he just didn't really believe in it, it was so man-made and <laughs> commercialized but he told me that he really didn't you know believe in it so I thought you know okay well I could still still date him as long as he's showing his express expressing yeah. how he feel about me and he does nice things for me outside of a holiday on my birthday then that would be okay but I'm gonna be quite honest with you when it got around my birthday you know <laughs> it did bother me a little bit listen so I, what, what I've learned is I don't think I can make a lifetime of no. in a relationship of no. no gifts and no celebrating my birthday mm -hmm. I, 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 can, no. I can't do it I'm my father's daughter to this day mm -hmm. so when we grew up because he got four daughters and two sons and mm -hmm. He always made an effort, like your your birthday. He would celebrate his birthday. It'd probably be the whole month. But he, <laughs> I know like, somebody else that do that. That is how I am. Like because my father, his birthday is a big deal. I don't play with him about his birthday. And I grew up like that. Just like <laughs> I get things from my mom, I get things from my dad too. Mm -hmm. So plain and simple. Another thing I get from mm -hmm. my father, like he would buy all of us pocketbooks jewelry when we was younger so nobody okay. could come into our life and tell us that they doing something for us so oh. this is when we was in high school in junior high school like he would buy us pocketbooks okay. and, and i was so stupid because he bought me gold watch and i'm in the in the beach with the gold watch i uh -oh. lost it but anyway that's another oh, one but my <laughs> my dad like that's how he is to this day so your daddy so. basically taught you how a man should treat you yes and i think that's also important too but some women don't have daddies around yeah. and sometimes we just yeah. don't know but what i will say is when yeah. you know better do better when you know better expect better yep exactly right? now i'll tell you one thing <laughs> you like we was talking about really pay attention to your partner mm -hmm. pay attention to your partner whether mm -hmm. your um your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend pay attention to their likes their needs their wants if so, the person is important to you if they are important <laughs> to you and she said a <laughs> word y'all because if, if they're, they're not paying partner. attention and if these things don't happen yeah. repeatedly then after a while maybe we yeah have to realize that we might not be that important to them exactly right? i was reading something today that made me think and it could go either way and it was it's by a um a poet you're talking about the, oh yeah His tell them that poet rudy francisco okay. i like oh, instantly fell in love with this person <clears throat> because he's deep and okay. don't even, he don't even need a lot of words to be deep well then he's basically the poem. one of the poems he said the title was how did you lose her uh-oh and it could be how did you lose him if you wanted to <laughs> how did you lose her I felt trapped, but another man looked at my prison and called her a church. Who, who would choose to be a jail when given the option to be a sanctuary? Ooh. Let that sit. It sat with me. Sanctuary. I had to read it like three times and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sit with me. Anyway. So the, the, like the, the moral of the story is I another like person's trash is another person's treasure. Yes, it is. Do not ignore yeah. your partner's needs, wants. Like, pay attention to them. Don't take advantage of them. Yeah. Pay attention to what they like and what they're interested in. That's all I'm saying. And, and in reality, if you are the person on the other end, you're paying attention, but you're just unable to deliver those things for yeah. whatever reason. You're capable. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're incapable of delivering it financially, yeah. emotionally. Don't matter what the reason is. You know that you cannot um, step up to, to meet their needs. Yeah. Then have a discussion with that person because it might be time for you guys to just go your separate, go your separate ways. ways, right? Like she that, said. that too. I, I don't know. Communicate with them that's it and let's say honest communication mm -hmm. because if it ain't an honest communication then you ain't get you're not gonna get anywhere with Absolutely. lies you gotta be honest about it right She's right She's yes and it could hurt it'll be yeah. hurtful to find out that your partner just 
admits that they can't meet your needs, especially if you want them to. Yeah. But isn't it better to just hurt up front so you can move on and get it old, get over right, with right. instead of let it linger on for year after year, months, I don't mm -hmm. know, forever, however long. Yeah. So. That's yep. all I have to say about Valentine's Day. I think we Me went too. we went deep into this. We went deep, y'all. <laughs> so I hope y'all had a great Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day is every day. Remember that? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. And listen, love is the greatest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, it is yeah. the greatest thing to love, to give love, to receive love, to, to be, be in love. love. Oh. It is the most greatest thing feeling Absolutely. above all Absolutely. you know but first love yourself love yourself so that you will have the ability to love everyone else and that special person what she said so, what yeah. she said amen all right y'all amen thanks again for listening this has been real yes it has been Thank you for joining us for another episode of Four Real Talkers. Yes. Now, please hit the subscribe button. Yes. Don't forget to hit your notifications as well so you can be notified every time we put up a new video. Absolutely. Thanks for following Four Real Talkers, where real people say real things. Yes. Bye. Bye. Mwah, mwah. <laughs>